Hey, it's David Bear here from Bear on Marketing, and in this video, we're going to be talking about managing your social media posting more effectively. So currently, we are inside of a third-party social media management tool that you've probably heard of called Hootsuite. Now, Hootsuite is uh, a tool that allows you to link a bunch of your social media accounts together and then manage posting to those accounts and even um, engaging with uh, commenters and other people uh, within those different social channels right from within their dashboard. So that means that I can schedule things that I want posted to Twitter or LinkedIn or Facebook, and I have the ability to then monitor uh, the success of those posts as well as reply to commenters and things like that all inside of Hootsuite. And uh, similar to Hootsuite, there is a tool out there called Buffer. Uh, this is my Buffer account, and I use Buffer to schedule uh, content that I want to have posted onto, again, LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter in this case. The idea being that I have the ability to uh, link it up to an RSS feed um, from a particular blog, and then it can automate the posting. Every time I create a new uh, blog post, for example, it will generate a... Uh, an automated post out to the various uh, social channels that I wanted to post to. But there's an inherent challenge with these types of uh, social media management tools, and it's that we don't necessarily know what's going to be successful uh, when we are simply posting our own stuff or sharing uh, links to articles and other things that we find on the web. So I'd like to spend the next few minutes sharing with you two tools that uh, exist online that I have been using to not only schedule my posting, but also to do a little bit of recon, a little bit of uh, analysis of what's going to be most popular, what's going to be most effective uh, in posting. And these two tools really come from this uh, challenge, this question, uh, from two different angles. Uh, so let's dive into the first one, which is called Post Planner. Now, Post Planner uh, has a very, very simple premise. They uh, scan the web for uh, social channels, or social posts, I should say, that have had great success, and then they categorize them, and when you do a search under a particular category, uh, it will return a list of results. In this case, this is a, um, a grouping of funny posts that uh, they have categorized based on the success. And so they have a five-star system here uh, that will define these as the most successful funny posts that they've encountered in the last week. I could set this to brand new ones, um, the, the last month, or uh, from all time if I'd like. And so how does, how does this um, stack up? Well, a five-star um, post that's, um, that's shared, that's uh, available here, um, it has received 10.3 thousand likes, uh, there are over 5,000 comments, and it's been shared 1.4 thousand times. So the idea is that it's going to show me this particular item. I haven't even looked at it. Let's just uh, enlarge it to take a look, right? So there's a, a funny image, and then there's uh, some comment up, up on the top of it. And uh, it is from a Facebook fan page called Fat Mum Slim, right? If I like this post, if it's something that I want to share on one of my uh, social channels, I can simply click share, and it automatically uh, will credit the place where I found the original post. Now I can choose not to do that, but really um, social media etiquette or online etiquette in general uh, is that you should share where you have found things originally. So um, I now am able to, you know, maybe type a little introduction to that, and then I can go ahead and uh, add it to my automated um, schedule, or I can schedule it to uh, um, be shared immediately, uh, share it as the next thing that I want to have shared, or schedule the post for a specific time and date. Uh, I also have the ability to repeat the post, or to even have it uh, just jump to the end of what Post Planner calls my queue, which is... Uh, the list of all of the things that I have scheduled to be posted over uh, the into the future. Um, 
over the next several weeks or months, however many items might be in my queue. So that's how Post Planner works, and it's uh, not simply just, you know, funny images, but I can um, search for a particular topic like technology, for example, let's just close this one out, and I can find um, articles that have been shared. Uh, this is a recent article about technology that was shared nine hours ago by ZD.net, um, and it has received uh, 247 likes and 666 shares, um, and it, it's a brand new article. So if this were something that was in my uh, audience's uh, area of interest, it might be appropriate for me to share this. Now, I can go ahead and uh, also click into status ideas. Maybe I want to, um, you know, come up with some something that's fun and engaging. Um, you know, I'm recording this on a Friday, so maybe I'll click weekends and work. And, you know, how often uh, does your company blog? Um, I went to the university of, you know, fill in, fill in the blank. And so basically what it, it does is I, I've copied that. I can now paste it up here, or I could even, if I wanted to, because this is linked directly to Canva, I have the ability, oops, I'm not logged into Canva. Let's go ahead and remedy that. Uh, I can even um, add this directly to Canva as an image quote. Uh, so we'll just, we'll just use whatever it pops up with right here. Um, okay, so let's say I want to use this. I can you know, grab this text here and I could put, you know, that, that uh, text that I just copied um, from, uh, from Post Planner. Let me just get rid of these other things. All right, I went to the University of, maybe I want to make this larger and we can center it, right? So you can see how this works. I don't, I'm not going to really spend a lot more time on this, but um, let's make it, okay. Right, so that, you know, it, it has um, a college rule paper, and, and so, you know, it feels like somewhat academic. And I can go ahead and hit publish, and it's now saving the design, and it's going to then bring it back over to Post Planner, right? And so people will see this as an image and I can uh, then go ahead and share that onto one of my social channels. Uh, so in this case, perhaps I will share it to my personal uh, Facebook page or uh, my uh, personal profile, excuse me. Um, and let's just go ahead and share that now. And so there you go. It is now um, on its way over to Facebook, and um, you know you could you could see that if you were uh, um, following me on Facebook. So that's the basic premise. Obviously, there's a lot more to Post Planner than that. But I wanted to give you um, uh, a, a different perspective, a different angle on how to schedule out and create great content for your social media posting that isn't simply uh, sharing links to things that you have read online, but it's generating some original or inspired content based on things that other people have posted and have, in fact, found uh, to be successful. Um, now, I'd like to contrast Post Planner's uh, uh, approach to this with a new tool that I've been using the last several months called Promo Republic. Now, Promo Republic also uh, can do the same sort of posting uh, to various articles and things that uh, all of these other tools uh, have the ability to do. But unlike uh, Post Planner or Buffer or Hootsuite, their um, their perspective is to create original content and image-based content that uh, is going to be able to uh, support the interests of your audience or the particular industry or niche that you happen to work in. And I have, you know, predefined when I set up my account um, that I am interested in sharing content around uh, marketing, uh, business, uh, education, um, uh, professional development, things like that. And so it has um, generated, based on the criteria that I put in, images that their uh, staff, their creative staff, have designed. And then I can say, oh, this is really cool. I like this. So let's let's take a look at this one. Quote, uh, start a company. So let's go ahead and say, I want to use this one. All I do is I select it, and then it brings me into their editor. 
Now, uh, this is somebody's uh, quote about starting a company, and I have the ability to take this placeholder logo, delete that, and then I've uploaded my logo for my company right here, and I could take that, and maybe I always like to put it on a little skew right like that, and now, voila, I have my logo that is consistent with everything else that I post. Um, maybe I don't like the um, the image quite the way it is. I could replace the image with something else. Um, I could reposition the image so it's a little bit larger. Uh, I could do a number of different things here. In this case, you know, let's let's take a quick search to see, um, you know, what else there might be. Maybe I want to use um, this image of this woman standing here next to the wall looking over at this. But I'm looking at the background and I'm going, oh, well, this is maybe a little too light, so I could adjust it. I could make it less bright, for example. Um, that way, she really stands out a lot more and the words stand out a lot more. So you can see how easy this image uh, editor is. And then I can go ahead and choose to use it. And then I can select where I want to post of uh, um, this too. And so in this case, I can publish it now. Uh, I can add it to my queue. Again, the queue in this case is um, predetermined by uh, uh, Promo Republic looking at my account and seeing when the most numbers of people are likely to see my post and they're going to post it at that time, or I can actually schedule it for a specific time. So let's say I want to post this to my uh, Bear, Bear on Marketing uh, Twitter account. I'm going to go ahead and add it to the queue, and now it is in my calendar scheduled uh, for... Let's just go ahead and turn this on. Um, for the future, uh, in this case, it's going to show at uh, 3.55 today is when it will get posted to my Twitter account. You can see all of this other stuff that has been posted to that Twitter account um, as well. Now, uh, what I'm looking at here, and I'm going to uncheck events, is in addition to just that recommended stuff based on subject matter, uh, they have created posts around specific um, events that are happening on specific days. And I'm going to uncheck events, and you can see now there's nothing here. So nothing is being posted, but I can click events and go, oh, yeah, happy honesty day. I'd love to do that. Or there's one about International Jazz Day uh, that's here. Uh, Harry Potter or five lessons learned from, I can't even read what that says, supernatural movies. So you can see there are posts that have been created. And in addition to those posts, there's a whole list of things that are uh, happening on those days or uh, big anniversaries that are that are happening on those days or it's a national something day uh, here in the United States, for example. And so in addition to the, the um, images that their team has created that I can go ahead and, uh, you know, go inside of and adjust uh, just the way I did the, the uh, previous image that I just showed you, uh, I could say National Kiss of Hope Day. That sounds... Or, Oatmeal Cookie Day, super cool. I'm going to create a post around it. So I click on that. I'm going to add a post, and I can go ahead and add an image. Now I can upload an image from my computer, or I can use a template, and maybe I want to go over to their background and type, um, oops, cookie. And maybe there will be an image of a cookie. So an oatmeal cookie, uh... Let's, you know, those look like chocolate chips. Oh, here we go. Okay, so, yeah, these look like chocolate chips, but I bet if I were to blur it a little, you know, I could then, let's go into this and filter it a little bit, um, or I can adjust this, you know, so I can play around with the way that this thing looks a little bit. Yeah, and maybe that doesn't look like chocolate chip now as much. Maybe it, it could look a little bit more like um, like oatmeal. Who knows? Anyway, uh, the idea here is that I found an image in their vast um, collection of images that I can then use in my post um, for you know, maybe these cookies are better. Who knows? Um, let's take a look. Uh, so the idea now, yeah, these are these are not oatmeal cookies either. I should have typed in oatmeal cookie and, and I would have found something better. Anyway, the idea is that somewhere, somewhere there is an image that fits my needs. Let's go back to this one. 
Okay. Yeah, this, this one's not bad. And I could then, you know, maybe take some text and put it here and say, you know, happy oatmeal uh, cookie day. And I can then, you know, play around with what I want this thing to look like. So uh, now I could also take a pre um, preformed image that they have. I don't have to start from scratch here. So let's say, you know, I like, I kind of like that. Um, it says happy oatmeal cookie day. I can gr go grab my, my logo. Maybe I'll use this version of my logo and I'll put it down in the, in the lower right hand corner and pretty quickly. Now, you know, this is, this is, um, maybe I'd like to change the look of this to be really bright. So, um, instead of the orange, I'm going to change it to, you know, an off white here. And there you go. I already have a, a post that I can go ahead and use. Um, and it's going to automatically schedule it for Sunday, April 30th, um, which schedule, there you go, and it is now in my calendar. So I'm going to go back to the calendar, and you can see that now on Sunday, April 30th, I have a happy oatmeal cookie day post right there. Um, now, why would I, as a um, business online marketing um, uh, focused company be interested in posting something about oatmeal cookie day. Well, the fact is that it's what people are going to respond to. And one of the goals when you are posting online, when you are uh, trying to get engagement from people on social media, is to post things that they care about. Now, who doesn't love oatmeal cookies? I'm sure there are some people out there, but a lot of people love them. So this would be a post that would engage a handful of people who are following me on Twitter, and maybe they would like it, maybe they would share it someplace else. My logo is down in the bottom right-hand corner. It would be tracked back to my account. Somebody would say, hmm, what's Bear on Marketing? And seek me out. And that's the entire idea behind an approach like this. So there you have it. In addition to uh, the, the traditional buffer or hoots suite where you can schedule sharing content that you find across the web. Uh, we're looking at Post Planner, which rates things based on their popularity, and the very, very cool Promo Republic, which gives you the ability to create really, really quickly and schedule out into the future um, original content that they know your audience is going to love uh, based on different themes, subject matters, industries, etc. So if you have any interest in checking out Promo Republic or Post Planner, I've left the links to them below. I think that there are um, some free trial opportunities to test them out. See if you like them. Uh, get inside these, uh, um, the, these programs and really see um, if their style meshes with your needs when it comes to managing social media and becoming more and more creative so that you can get better, higher quality engagement out of the people who are connected with you, uh, your business, your brand online. So go ahead and, and click those links below and uh, check out these, these uh, um, programs. I really think uh, they're both excellent, excellent pieces of software, and uh, one could absolutely be a great fit uh, for your business. Thanks so much for watching. I'm David Bear from Bear on Marketing, and get scheduling stuff on social media much more creatively today.